I mean, what you know that I've already expressed fear in this, and and so I'm I'm curious. Without sharing my own fears, I'm just curious. Like, what what in your mind, what could go wrong? I mean, the there's like the obvious thing is that some corporation hacks your brain. Well, it's a corporation hacks your brain, which even that's pretty bad. But that'll be like what they'll like advert, they'll like send ads directly to your brain, or they'll like make it so that you want to buy their products or whatnot. But then even worse, obviously a you know, foreign actor, a terrorist, an adversary, a state actor, you know, hacks into your brain and um, and takes your memories or takes, you know, like manipulates you or all these things. I mean, that is, that's obviously pretty bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that's, I to, like, it's definitely a huge risk. I mean, for sure, if you have a direct link into someone's brain, um, and you have the ability to like read their memories, control their thoughts, read their thoughts. Like, um, you know, that's pretty bad. Uh, I've I've talked to a lot of scientists in this space, and a lot of people working on this stuff, including the folks at Neuralink. And um, you know, mind reading and mind control are like those are the that is where the technology will go over time, mm -hmm. right? And so um, it is like. It's something that we have to, you know, like any advanced technology, we have to not fuck that up. Um, but it's going to be pretty critical if we want if we want humans to remain relevant as AI keeps getting better. Who do you trust to control your fucking mind? <laughs>